<coughs> Patrick Collins, I've come to Cusick Park for a long time and there's been great big, great games here and big wins. Today is up there with any, any of them, I believe. Yeah, it's, um, I just said it there now, Cusick Park is a massive advantage for us and when the shed, they start banging the sheds there when we start getting on top, like, it's very hard for a team to understand that like, unless you're playing here and once we got on top of Cork, like, I felt like it was, it was tough for them to kind of get back into it. And like even though they got the level and point, I just felt like we had kind of still had a bit more momentum. And in fairness, killing Rowan, like like cornerback working hard all day and makes a big run up the field from cornerback up to finish off a move. Like it just shows great spirit and great attitude. And like there's a lad that's been injured for six, seven months and trying to get himself back, and he's after an operation. And just shows what the, what hard work does. Like for a lad, like pays off. So um, yeah, yeah, it's, I was delighted to see him at the end of the move. But uh, yeah, Q's Park's a massive advantage for us today. It was it was huge. The fans were unbelievable. Yeah, they, so yeah, even in this stand here, this side, the, the atmosphere was unreal, and the cock crowd kind of added to it as well. The league, uh, Paul, just go back to that for one second. The league, the Dublin game, the Kildare game, those games, they probably galvanised you for today. Yeah, More like, than anything else, like, you know, like, I, I, games you could have won. It was won. disappointing, yeah. obviously, to go down, yeah. like, it's disappointing, but yeah. after the Derry game, when we knew, like, it was done, like, yeah. the league, league was done, it was nice to just switch focus. You could let like, go of it, yeah. Yeah, it's done now, we're in Division 3, that's yeah. it. If yeah. we lose Cork, we're going to be in Talentland Cup, and that'd be it. But, um, like, it was just focusing on Cork today and getting our match-up rights, getting our game plan right and getting a win, and, fair, like, we did we did that, and it was, it was a close game, like, probably could have got either way and came out the right side of it, which is important, like. Because like like you said, we lost Clare by a point, we lost it up by a point, so to come out on the right side of it like came on load, we won by a point and to win this by a point it's big. Yeah, the the the, the, the law of averages you had to get a break somewhere like and, and I don't think you got a break, you created the break for yourselves today, like with that with the way you know, for the last ten minutes of that game it, it was it was just you had to put every shoulder to the wheel and defend against Cork in and break up and get the scores. But what really impressed me was when you were four pints down. And to be quite honest, I thought four pints down is an, a huge mountain against Cork, particularly with the way they'd beat you in the league. But she didn't take any notice of that. And you pegged them right back. And when you got that level of score, I mean, that was a day. You could hear the shed really nice and in over there. Yeah, and um, like I suppose Cork are one of the highest scoring teams in national football between all the divisions. And like they're the highest goal scoring team across all the divisions. So like to keep a clean sheet today is also massive. But we knew, like we said within four or five points, that we'd be well in the game. Like it's, when you shooters like M. McMahon, Keelan Sexton, Owen Cleary, lads that can kick over the ball if they get a second. And like in fairness, they were on it today and they took their scores and. It was, um, yeah, at least, uh, like, I definitely wasn't worried when we were four down with that much time left. Yeah, um, there was keep, a lot, yeah. Yeah, keeping the yeah. clean sheet was massive, and, like, Stephen's been excellent. The kickouts were very good, even, like, when you feel that pressure coming on, I suppose, the goalie, it's a bit harder, because uh, trying to retain the ball, you're, like, the pressure's on you, and he did, in fairness, and we get the ball, and we're able to carry a chance down the end. Yeah, big kickouts there as well, to, you know, he, he was there to pick out, especially with that last one, that last uh, winning point. I looked down towards Colum Collins, your father there, with, with about five minutes to go and I looked at him and he had an expression of, of, of just confidence in the team you know he wasn't pulling his he just looked confident and, and, and you know he, he, he backed you and even at that stage he backed you when the game could have gone anywhere like looking at him that's the kind of confidence he's put onto the pitch like yeah I suppose like we have a lot of work done I'm not saying like like yeah. Cork do as well like see so just this level it's it's like it's high level, there's lads are putting in a lot and I suppose he knows the work we've done but sometimes yeah. you still don't come out the right side of them, we were lucky we did. You're a dual player, you go back to t before 2013, you you know, you won an all in Holland, you've done an awful lot of Holland with your club, Holland football. Where do you get this energy? Did you, you covered the field today, you won ball, you tackled, you, you skipped inside lads. How do you do that, Padre? Really, tell me. I, I don't know. I, I, just, I love playing. Like, <laughs> just and, a natural, uh, yeah. Yeah, and I'll yeah. Be, I like. I'm, I'm 31 now, and I'll be retired soon enough. And like, I just while I can do it, I'll do it to the best of my ability, and that's it. I enjoy it. Yeah. I can't beat it, like. Well, days like today are there to be enjoyed, anyway, yeah. for yeah. certain. I'll ask, ask you one question. Your cousins down in Cullen.